Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate the Rike to SharePoint. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at, at Rike.com and as you can see, uh, you are already getting provided by 13 days uh, of, trial, uh, of trial, I mean it's actually like 15 days, uh, maybe more, so there's uh, enough time to for you to find out if this is the way that you want to go or uh, this website is pr providing you everything you need for your company but anyways uh, if you want to make an integrations not only with SharePoint but with anything else we need to go to the top right corner and we want to click on our profile uh, the second options are apps and integrations now we have to uh, use the search engine uh, and try to find ourselves a SharePoint. As you can see, Microsoft SharePoint is here. Uh, but first of all, uh, you have to buy a package uh, at Rack Integrate. But that's, that's not the only way. We can also use Zapier.com for a little bit uh, simpler, but uh, anyways, still integrations between those two. Uh, we also need to create an account at Zapier.com and we need to make a Zap. At the uh, top left corner. Once we are here, uh, we can name our Zap, but uh, by going like I don't know, uh, right to SharePoint, we press Enter, and now we uh, have to start uh, the trigger. We start the trigger by entering the name of the app we want to start with. In our case, it's Rike. We choose an event, uh, it's new folder or new task, only those two options so far. Uh, we have to choose an account that uh, we created, set up a trigger, it really depends uh, on the folder you create for your, uh, uh, for your employees. Now track subfolders, if you want to add them it's true, if you don't it's false, continue. You can test your trigger, but you, you don't really have to. It's not mandatory. Second option or second step is actually adding uh, the second uh, second program or second app, which is uh, SharePoint. But as you can see, there's a lot of uh, other options, but there is no SharePoint. This works as I mean uh, Zapier works with a uh, couple of uh, Microsoft budgets, but there's no Sh SharePoint yes, yet. So you will either have to pay or use uh, some other option. So that's how you do it. And thanks for watching and see you in the next video.